Vanitas paintings were popular in Europe in the 17th century. Vanitas means emptiness in Latin and is the root of the English word vanity. Vanitas suggests that human life and all its achievements are extremely fragile and are eventually conquered by death. Such paintings are full of symbols of the brevity of life, fruits and flowers that decay, hourglasses and candles that mark the passage of time, and skulls that represent our inevitable demise. In the 1970s, the American artist Audrey Flack reinterpreted the Vanitas traditions. She worked in a style known as photorealism, which arose in the United States in the 1960s. Photorealist artists work from photos and carefully reproduce photographic images in paint. The paintings featured the same saturated colors, shiny surfaces, and reflections as the photographs. Photorealist painters often depict mundane subjects from the everyday world of household goods. Given the detached, emotionless style, their work is regularly seen as a critique of the banality of consumerist modern life. Flax art is more than just a skillful reproduction of photographs in another medium. Her Vanitas paintings turned the 17th century genre into a commentary on the issues of her day, including celebrity status and feminism. Audrey Flack's most famous work is her painting of 1977, Marilyn Monroe. This artwork includes a photo of the 20th century actress surrounded by symbols of vanitas, a candle, watch, hourglass, fruit, a flower, jewelry, and cosmetics. The photo is reflected in a mirror in front of which is lipstick, positioned as if it were being applied to Marilyn's lips. The objects, symbolic of the passing of time, represent Marilyn's brief and tragic life. She died, age 36, of a barbiturate overdose. Monroe was an extremely successful movie star, but in many ways her physical beauty, referenced in the painting by cosmetics and jewelry, was exploited by Hollywood producers. She was often cast in the role of a sex symbol, but in real life she had a number of unhappy relationships with famous men and was treated for psychological problems. Audrey Flack's work is a fine example of the ways in which artists draw on past traditions and transform them into art that reflects the concerns of modern life.